welcome back to part two of how to record Oregon Trail in Python, part two uh, by D. Ratner. Uh, make sure if you haven't already subscribed, like the video, turn on notifications so that way you don't miss any Python videos. Also check the description of the video, I'll be posting the source code for this so you're able to follow along with me. Uh, so anyways, we left off, we started most of it, we need to finish some functions. Alright, so we have rollover month. And in rollover month, we want to make sure that our current month date is not greater than how many days are in the month. All right. So if it's more than the, so we want to check if the days in the month are not greater than what current day is. And if it is, that means we can move on to the next month. So if we think about it, if the current day is 34 and there's only 31 days in the month, right? If it's something, if it's June, Let's just use an example. So if it's March, all right, that's the third month, and it's March uh, 34th. Well, we know March has uh, 30 days in it. So if it's March 34th, that means it's actually April 4th. All right, so what we got to do is we got to subtract how many days are we are over and then how many uh, days are in the month and then change the month as well. All right, so... For that, let's go back to maybe rollover month. So we got to bring in some global variables. We need to bring in day. We need to bring in month. All right, so we have those two. So let's just say the day, let's make a variable which is uh, days in month. So, so we got to think about what the current days in the month is. So the days in month and then the current month. So that's going to return to us a how many days are in the month. So what we got to do is we got to check if our current day is greater than the days in the month. We want to increase... our month by one I think that's the name of the global variable yeah month so we want to increase month by one but we also want to make sure that the day is equal to how many days are in the next month so if if our day is 32 and there's 30 days in the month so first we got to take the day and we got to subtract it for how many days are in the month so minus equal to days in month of the current month all right so we're taking the day if the day so let's say it's 33 is greater than 30 uh, 33 minus 30 month plus equals to 1 um, and then everything should update from that. All right, so that should be good. We'll see if it works. We'll test it out. Uh, handle sickness is another one that we want to think about. So we'll just keep it in one. How handle sickness works is there's a certain chance, there's a two out of however many days are in the month chance of getting sick. All right, so if, uh, and that resets every month. So it could be zero out of 30, one out of 30, or two out of 30. So we want to see how we could check if we are sick for that month. All right, so um, we want to check how many days are remaining in the month first. So let's just make a local variable, which will be days remaining. We'll do days remaining in month. And that's going to be equal to uh, days in month of our current month. Uh, minus day. All right, so that way we know how many days are remaining in the month because it's going to be a ratio of uh, our chance to the how many days are remaining in the month. All right, and then we want to choose a random number between zero and how many numbers or how many days are left in the month. So um, we'll call it random day number is equal to random that random integer between zero and days remaining in month. So 
So then what we're doing is we have, we're choosing a random number between zero and how many days are remaining in the month. Um, and then we'll see if, so let's make another variable. We'll just call that variable sick. And we'll say sick is equal to two. And so it's going to choose a random number between uh, zero and how many days are remaining in that month. And we'll say if it's less than two, if it's less than sick, that means we got sick that day. All right, so where were we for this? All right, so we'll say if random day number, random day number is less than or equal to sick, we'll say sick changes by one, so our chance goes down by one. We'll print out you got sick, and then our health level will subtract by one. So we're using a lot of global variables. Let's just bring them in right now before we forget. So we need day, month, sick, and health level. All right, so what this is doing, so our random day number is going to be a random number between 0 and how many days are in the month. So it could be 0 and 15. And as our, as our day goes down, we get more and more lucky or likely to get sick. So it could be a 0 to 30 chance, and then it, it will be between a 1 to 15 chance, and then a 1 and 2 chance, and then so on and so forth. So as the days go on, we have a higher chance of getting sick. Every time we get sick, it, our chance goes down because we start at 2 and eventually it will be zero. Um, and we can get sick each time. Uh, so what we want to do also, since we sickness resets every month, so every time we have a rollover month, we'll do sick equals to two. All right, so that should get us most of what we need. Um, let's just make sure that we don't have any errors here. And so we have this maybe rollover month. We want to check if the month rolls over every time we travel, or every time our months change. So we want to do that every time we travel, every time we rest, and every time we hunt. And then we also want to call this random sickness occurs every time we do an action as well. So uh, every time we have traveling, we have a chance of getting sick. Even when we rest, we have a chance of getting sick. And when we hunt, we have a chance of getting sick. And so let's also print out uh, our health level here. Print health level. And then we'll also print food remaining. So we'll print your health level is plus str health level and you have this much food remaining plus str food remaining all right so we're getting to the end we have these conditions which we got to finish doing uh, but let's just start at the beginning so these are the welcome text you don't do anything here global variables we didn't end up using suck or sickness traveled these constants we actually didn't end up using most of them um, so I'm just gonna delete them just so we're not confused we did use these food eaten and these months with a certain amount of days uh, functions, we have the date function. We have some sort of error message here. Inconsistent use of tabs and space. That means somewhere we accidentally did a space instead of a tab, and now it messes everything up. Um, we'll get to that in a bit, but here it looks like everything's done. Our handlers are all completed. And we just got to make a game is over condition. So while playing, we could see uh, game is over. If it's true, then playing is equal to false. So we got to make sure that we are testing each time if the game is over. So if um, so 
So the fine game is over. So we could do if health level is equal to zero. Elif food remaining is equal is less than or equal to zero. And then uh, the other option is uh, LF miles traveled is greater than or equal to um, 2,000. So if any of these are true, then the game is over. So if any of these are true, we'll return true. Return true. Return true. So here it will be if game is over. So that means if it's true, playing is equal to false. And then so we either win or we lose. So the only way we win is if miles traveled is greater than 2,000. It'll return true. Otherwise, our other options are death, which we can do. Oh, we don't really need to do that. Loss report, uh, you could do it on your own. Now, I'll just say how many days you traveled, all that. I don't really want to do that. Uh, here, we're asking for the player name. Let's just add, comment that in. Ask player name. Uh, what is your name, player? Let's make that look nicer. Uh, I'm going to clean up the code, make sure everything is running, because it looks like there's some errors right now. And uh, we'll see if there are any indentation errors after. All right, since we were using the template, there was a lot of issues with indentations, because somewhere it might have been um, a space, or somewhere it might have been a tab. So I just went back and I checked if I did any spaces anywhere. Uh, right now I'm just looking at uh, the, um, the current issue of uh, just coding issues and I'm just going through it and checking so what is your name F so we still have some issues in places uh, I'm just gonna go through I'm not gonna do it on camera and I'm going through all of it but you can look through and see what the error messages are and uh, try to figure them out on your own all right, so an issue here on this date as string, we got to put in two arguments. So we got to put in the month and the day. Um, so now let's run it. Uh, all right, today is March 1st. You travel 200 miles. So I'm going to do travel. You travel 31 miles. Let's just travel and see if the day rolls over. Now if we check our status, today is April 23rd. So it rolled over correctly, our miles are updating, our health level is going down, and our food is going down. So if I do hunt, and I check the status, our food went up. If I do rest, you rest for five days, let's see our status, our health level goes down, and now if I keep traveling, you can see we're getting sick. So it looks like everything is working. So the only issue was our... Uh, not having these arguments in the status and then uh, let's just see if we can get this game to actually win so our status our health level so let's just hunt a little bit and travel some more status so almost done travel 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 status our food is less okay so let's hunt 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 Rest, rest, rest. All right, travel, status. All right, so it looks like everything's working fine. Thank you all for watching. Hope this helps you. Make sure you subscribe. That is all.